uh, welcome to our channel in this lesson i want us to discuss uh, uh, biology from two topic transport in plants and animals uh, subtopic stem uh, objectives of the lesson number one you need to know function of the stem number two internal structure of both dicot and monocot stems number three differences between a dicot stem and monocot stem a dicot stem and dicot root a monocot stem and monocot root then finally uh, you need to know function of various parts of the stem and now to start with function of the stem mainly number one you have it's used for anchorage anchorage means it supports the plant uh, number two it conducts water and mineral salts uh, from the roots to the rest of the plant uh, meaning within the xylem within the stem we have a xylem that performs that function and uh, number three it conducts manufactured food substances uh, from the leaves to the rest of the plant meaning within the stem we have phloem that performs that function and number four it's used for storage of food for some plants e.g the irish potato and number five it's used for gaseous exchange in some plants and this one happens uh, through the lenticels and usually lenticels these are found these are tiny holes that are found in old uh, woody stems and number six it's used for reproduction e.g sweet potato now here we have internal structure of dicot stem. The outer structure is called epidermis. The, neck, the region that is next to the epidermis is called uh, the cortex, this region. All this region is the cortex. And within the cortex, we have uh, mainly three tissues. We have the parenchyma tissue, we have the sclerenchyma tissue, and we have cholenchyma tissue. Now, from there, we have the vascular bundle. This is the vascular bundle made up of xylem and phloem. Which is the xylem? Which is the phloem? So, the xylem always is the one that is positioned towards the inside of the pit. This one. The one that is positioned towards the inside of the pit is the xylem. Now, the one that is positioned towards the outside of the pit is the phloem. Then, there is a region next to the outer side of the phloem and that is the sclerenchyma then here we have the pith uh, then we have cambium cambium is a region that separates the xylem and the phloem from there we have the internal structure of the monocot stem you can see uh, in a monocot stem the vascular bundle is scattered uh, all over in the ground tissue of the stem Unlike the dicot stem that you have seen, that the xylem and the phloem, uh, they were arranged in a form of a ring, uh, which were separated by the cambium uh, ring. Now, the other structures it has, like that of the dicot, only that it lacks the pith. From there, we need to know function of various parts of the stem. Number one, you have the epidermis. Uh, it is made up of a single a continuous a layer of a loosely a packed a cells and this is for uh, exchange of gases as well as for transpiration and so on now the walls of the epidermis are covered with a waxy a cuticle uh, the reason for this is to prevent excessive loss of water uh, through transpiration and evaporation now what is the function of the epidermis mainly there are three uh, number one is for protection. It protects the inner tissues from mechanical damage. Number two, it prevents excessive loss of water uh, through uh, transpiration. And this is usually, uh, it is common in uh, uh, xerophytes, plants that grow in desert and semi-desert uh, areas. Number three, it prevents entry of pathogens into the plant. Pathogens, these are the disease-causing microorganisms. Therefore, it is the work of the epidemics uh, to prevent entry of these uh, disease-causing microorganisms. Uh, number two, we have the cuticle. Uh, this is made up of uh, mainly uh, three tissues. We have the parenchyma tissue, we have the cholenchyma tissue, and sclerenchyma tissue. Now, number one, under parenchyma tissue, uh, the function is it helps in storage of water and food. Uh, it provides support through the turgidity, through uh, turgidity in herbaceous plants. Herbaceous plants, these are plants with weak stems. And uh, number three, it contains a uh, cholerentima, not cholentima. It contains a... Uh,
it contains cholerenchyma uh, tissues, not cholerenchyma, uh, which carry out photosynthesis. And the reason is because within the cholerenchyma, uh, we have the photosynthetic uh, pigment uh, called uh, uh, chlorophyll. We have chlorophyll, which is the photosynthetic pigment. NB, some stems are green due to presence of cholerenchyma. Choleren. Cholerenchyma, uh, which contains a uh, chloroplast. Now, the other structure, the other tissue is uh, cholenchyma. Cholenchyma, this is found uh, beneath the epidermis. Beneath means uh, below the epidermis. Their walls are uh, thickened with cellulose and pectin deposits. We have the function of the cholenchyma. It provides support, and this is due to thickening of cellulose and pectin. Then we have sclerenchyma. This is found on the outer side of the uh, phloem. The walls are thickened with lignin deposits. So the difference between sclerenchyma and cholenchyma is that for cholenchyma, the thickening is due to uh, cellulose and pectin, while for, while for sclerenchyma, the thickening is due to uh, lignin deposits. Now, the function of the sclerenchyma, it provides support due to uh, thickening. It provides support to the stem due to thickening. Now, number three, we have the pith. It consists of the parenchyma cells. Therefore, the function of the pith is to store water and food uh, substances. From there, we have the vascular bundle. This is made up of uh, xylem and phloem. The function of the xylem is to transport uh, water and mineral salts, uh, which are absorbed by the roots to the root hairs, meaning within the stem, we have xylem tissue that, that uh, carries out that function. Then number two, it provides support to the stem, and this is due to a uh, deposition of uh, lignin deposits. Now we have the function of the phloem. This is to translocate. Translocate means it conducts uh, manufactured food substances uh, from the leaves to the rest of the plant. Uh, number five, we have cambium. This is a ring found uh, between the xylem and the phloem. Now the function of the cambium is responsible for secondary growth in dicot plants. And the reason is because it contains actively dividing our cells. Uh, the next we need to know is uh, differences between dicot stem and monocot stem, which is usually common in uh, both paper 1 and uh, paper 2 biology. Now here we have dicot stem, uh, monocot stem. Now the dicot stem, when you are giving the differences, the difference you have to base it on number one, the vascular bundle, and number two, the cambium, and number three, the pith. So the dicot stem, the vascular bundle is usually arranged in cambium a ring. Remember we said that the xylem is usually positioned towards the inside of the pith, while the phloem is positioned uh, towards the outside of the pith. Now for monocot stem, the vascular bundle is scattered. Scattered means it is found all over uh, within the ground tissue of the stem. Then number two, we have presence of cambium for dicot stem, absence of cambium for monocot stem, uh, presence of pith in dicot stem, absence of pith in monocot stem. From there, we have difference between dicot stem and dicot root. For dicot stem, there is absence of root hairs. For dicot root, there is presence of root hairs. And number two, for dicot stem, there is presence of pith. For dicot root, there is absence of pith. For dicot stem, the vascular bundle is arranged in cambium a ring, while for dicot root, the xylem is usually star in shape and the phloem lies or it is found between the arms of the xylem. Then for dicot stem, there is presence of cambium, which is responsible for secondary growth, while for dicot root, there is absence of cambium. Finally, we have differences between monocot stem and monocot root. For monocot stem, there is absence of root hairs. For monocot root, there is presence of root hairs. For monocot stem, there is presence of ground tissues, while for monocot root, there is absence of ground tissues. For monocot stem, the vascular bundle is scattered uh, all over in the ground tissue, while for monocot root, the xylem and phloem, they alternate around the pith. Then, in monocot stem, there is absence of pith, while in the monocot root, there is presence of pith. That is the end of our lesson. For more videos, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.